And welcome to the screening room. I'm Russ Simmons. And I'm Sean Edwards. All right, we got a couple of new movies to talk about. We're going to start first with Argyle. That's right. The wildly imaginative tongue in cheek action comedy Argyle is the sort of movie, Sean, that the term meta was coined for. Bryce Dallas Howard stars as a homebody novelist. She becomes the target of assassins when the adventures of her fictional spy hero, played by Henry Cavill, parallel actual events. Sam Rockwell plays a secret agent who's assigned to protect her. Russ, there is so much going on in Argyle, so much that it's almost impossible to keep track of the characters and the plot in this James Bond comic spoof that uh, desperately wants you to have fun, but can't seem to get out of its own way. I think you're just right. It starts out well, but Argyle becomes very repetitive and increasingly absurd as the action progresses, but it's mildly entertaining. It's an exercise in self-aware overkill. Yeah, no, I'm not. I, I'm not going to front. I, I, I did love the premise of Argyle, but that's all it has. I mean, Russ, you have to execute. I mean, like you said, it gets seriously repetitive and increasingly over the top as it stumbles toward the end. There seems to be a lack of freshness that really derails this silly, unnecessarily long movie mm -hmm. that's full of juvenile and dumb ideas. And don't be fooled by the cat. <laughs> uh, it's basically a cheap gimmick that doesn't work. Yeah, for the most part, I think we're on the same page. Three popcorn bags. Yeah, I'm two popcorn bags for our guy. Are you ready for more cinematic bad behavior? Nope. Scrambled is a hard R-rated farce that really pushes the envelope. Written, directed by, and starring comedian Leah McKendrick, it's about a promiscuous 30-something who has terrible luck with men. She decides to freeze her eggs in the event she ever decides to give birth. I mean, there was a reason why this character had terrible luck with men. Yes. I hated her. But uh, Scrambled is the sort of well-meaning movie that works for us if delivered correctly, which means it has nuance and balance, which goes a long way. And while it hits a few notes of honesty, the raunchy, in-your-face material could make Scrambled a challenge for many viewers. Yeah, I think for most viewers, I have to agree with that. I mean, Russ, there's a great story beneath all the raunch, but there's just too much raunch. You yeah. never get to the story. I get it. Two popcorn bags. Yeah, I agree. Two popcorn bags. You can see all of our reviews and interviews with Hollywood's biggest stars at fox4kc.com slash screening room. You can also check us out on YouTube or you can go to our Fox 4 Screening Room Facebook page where I do believe we're giving away free movie passes to see Bob Marley, One Love. Yeah, I'm yeah, looking forward to yeah, that one. Yeah. Yes, yes sir. All right, this That's is a great weekend. Week. This is a great weekend to watch movies. No meaningful football. <laughs> That's right. Yes, right. <laughs> meaningful, being, meaningful. Yes, being the because prime word there. If you are watching the Pro Bowl, you either don't have a significant other or you won't have one for very long. <laughs> Agreed, true enough. Agreed. Take that, Pro Bowl. Uh, thanks, awesome. guys. Thank, Thank you. you. And with that, Carrie still is here.